Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, Nicole and I were cleaning the house and we noticed it was getting kind of warm. And you know what, I came up and checked the thermostat and it's totally off. I've been waiting to make this video for all year and today it finally happened. I'm going to show you how to fix a very common issue with AC going out in the middle of the summer. So as you can see here on the, on the screen, there is a, uh, it's totally blank. And this is a very common symptom uh, of the AC system. So let's get, go into uh, the unit and we'll get started. All right, so here we are in the uh, inside part of the air conditioning unit. Um, this one is in one of my rooms. It might also possibly be in your attic. Um, so what we have here is um, this, if you can see down here, this, um, this is a safety switch. And basically what happens is when this drain pipe here gets foot backed up with water, it will push this up, this little float. And when that float gets pushed up, it will actually turn off the power. So if you pull this unit out, you're, uh, go back and check your thermostat and it should have power back on it. If that is the case, then your drain pipe is clogged and go ahead and proceed with uh, this video. If that doesn't make it come back on, then you're gonna need to call a repair technician. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use uh, a little tool that I made and I'll, I'll put the uh, parts to make a tool like this down in the comments. Uh, you can get them at pretty much any hardware store. So the situation is you have a, uh, a drain that comes out of the unit here and it goes and it has these two pipes. The higher pipe is gonna go into that sensor. So you're gonna to have to sop this out with a, a rag or a paper towel to get the water out of here. And then this is the line that we're gonna to have to flush out. So there's a couple options. You can either go to the outside and use a shop back, but the way we're gonna do it was with a positive pressure system with a garden hose. So as you can see, I've got this cap here. What we need to do is separate this pipe. And now what I did is I cut this and I didn't glue it because there's no pressure in this pipe. It might have a little bit of water and you can see there's a bunch of gunk and stuff that's built up. So we're gonna flush all this stuff out of the pipe to the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap from the top on here and I'm gonna have to hold that while I use the pressure and I've got, I'm gonna use the coupling here. Uh, I think this might actually just come off, yeah. So that comes off and then I'll use this pipe in there, so now this is totally separated from the unit. This pipe has no way for the water to go backwards and it's all gonna go right out to the outside. So I'm gonna go get my garden hose, screw it in here, and I'm gonna make sure to hold this when uh, Nicole goes and turns the hose on outside. So let's get that hooked up. All right, so here we are outside. We're just gonna find the closest uh, hose picket with a long enough hose to reach our inside AC unit. So we're just gonna go ahead and hook this up. And just go ahead and leave this turned off. You're going to need a second person for this. You're going to have to yell at the, yell it to them to have them turn it on and uh, turn it off for you while you're inside. So here we are in the outside unit of the AC. That's typically where the drain pipe is. As you can see, the drain pipe is right here on the side. Um, just go ahead and make sure that it's totally unobstructed. There's not any like animals that have made a nest there. Go ahead and clean out everything around it. And that's where you're going to look for all the junk to be coming out after you flush your system. All right, so you can see I got everything hooked up here. Remember, you can always kink the hose if you need to stop it in here. But I'm gonna yell it to her and remember to hold your uh, hand on the cap. Okay, turn it on. All right, turn it off. Okay, so uh, the first time I didn't really get it, I had to do it a second time, but as you can see, the hose doesn't really have a lot of pressure in it anymore, which means the obstructions probably just got ejected out of the back of the other pipe. So it might take you a couple times of on and off and uh, should, get, should get it all flushed out. Okay, turn it off. All right, so now uh, we have to go ahead and disconnect all this. As you can tell, the AC is actually running and the reason why is because this is actually pulled out. So if you don't do this uh, quick enough, or it might be actually a good idea to turn this upside down so the AC unit will shut off. Um, otherwise, the water will uh, overflow out of that, um, this other pipe here that that goes in. So what we need to do is go ahead and disassemble all this. Put the sink there, uh, take our cap off. Okay, so we had to get a tool to get this cap off. As you can see, there's water pouring out of here. So you might wanna use a bucket um, to catch all that. I'm just gonna 
get this cap off. Still a little bit of gunk in there. Cap's going to go on the top and then our coupling. I'm going to flush this out real quick in the sink. Get that gunk out of there and then just going to put the coupling back in place. Push it on a little bit and make sure it doesn't leak. Um, you don't have to glue any of this because it's not under pressure. And then finally, uh, we're going to pour some bleach in the cap. Um, so, got some bleach here. Uh, be a little careful with this. Um, you should actually pour this in probably every month. Or... Probably uh, every month during the summertime. But uh, as you can tell, I forgot to do that. And that's why this situation happens. So if you if you do remember, just go ahead and put your bleach in there, even when if it's running fine, it should stop uh, problems like this. The last part is we're gonna have to get some paper towels and sop up in that hole there. And that is because if we don't do this, this pipe right here will not drain, and it will uh, turn our sensor off again, and we'll be back to where we started. Get our water out of there. All right, so now that we've totally dried that out, we can take our sensor, press it down into the, where it goes, and our job is complete. Just go make sure the uh, air conditioner turns back on and you should be good to go. If this video helped you out, please help me out and uh, like and subscribe so that uh, the people who need can watch this video and get their air conditioner fixed too. Thanks for watching guys and check out some of my other videos if you found this video helpful. Thanks.